Good morning. We woke up and our couch is on its way. It's Saturday and yeah, I just filmed taking this one down and apart. A little final moment with it. We're gonna keep it in the garage actually, but we moved some of the pieces in here. The guys are gonna come from the furniture store and drop it off. It's gonna be a little chaotic because we're gonna have the dogs outside. So I'm probably, you know, I'm not gonna film them. I'm not gonna film that, but I will show it to you guys right after. I'm getting a little nervous just because I only saw one little fabric swatch in person. That was like the actual color of the couch and now I'm like spiraling about it, but <laughs> I just need to be like, this is what it is and it's gonna be great. I'm just gonna go vacuum that rug we're gonna have the delivery people are like five to ten minutes away so they are about to be here and it's gonna be a big day we have some other furniture like the bed is here the day bed in the second bedroom that we're hoping to put together today everything is woo, coming together today which is so exciting on this saturday so she's here yay so yeah we kind of shoved it in this corner of the rug for now because we still have these chairs here oh my gosh the dogs were not happy about the delivery guys we might end up moving these i don't i don't really know what we'll do with these yet but anyway we did just put it here for now and we moved the coffee table just because well we like maneuver maneuver some things around but yeah this is the couch it actually ended up coming with four pillows which you can see i put two of them over there just because i don't know if we're going to use those ones yet they were like complimentary pillows that came with it so we got um, this like ivory shade, which is actually very close to the color of the couch it's And then these ones are like a little black and white patterned pillow So those all came for free, which is really nice You can load up four pillows if you wanted on here But we ended up doing the left chair the right chair and they combined the delivery guys combined them for us So they're like um, attached now, which is great and then the big big square ottoman. It's so huge this is it compared to my hand. And yeah, I feel like it's a little lighter in person than I thought it was going to be, but it's absolutely gorgeous because that's kind of really what I wanted against this rug because now I feel like it really like brightens everything up. Probably going to end up getting one of those like steam, those like green steaming machines that I've seen everywhere. People say those are so good for the couch. Let me know if you guys have one of those um, and probably just use that every, I don't know every few weeks or every month or something, but it's gonna get dog hair on it, you know what I mean? It's not gonna stay perfect, but we are going to, you know, clean it regularly, and I've literally never had a couch this this light, so I'm feeling a little nervous, but it is so beautiful. We might end up like shifting some things around in here, like I'm not really, I'm not really sure, because right now it like goes, the rug is really big in here, but it goes to like the edge of the rug and there's still, I feel like definitely enough room for like a little walkway here. Like we'll probably just choose to walk around, but we might end up scooting it in a little more so we can fit like a drink table or maybe get one of those. I know they have these like for modular couches, they have those things that you can just like, it's like a cup holder thing that you can attach here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's here. <laughs> it doesn't feel real but it's very beautiful and we're gonna get it set up. Oh my gosh, Squirtle's on it. Well, this is bound to happen. We're gonna get like a blanket on here for the dogs and just get it all set up and move some things around in here today. Cholula enjoying the new couch. He's made himself a comfy little spot on the ottoman. We ended up moving it over a little bit and a little bit back, which I actually think looks better. It's less cramped. And I put this drink table here instead. Don't know if that's going to stay. I moved the coffee table back in, but we are going to get a different coffee table because this one just looks really like orangey in the space, doesn't it? With like the brown. It's more of like cool tones now. I actually think I still want a round coffee table, but um, this one that I'm looking at is kind of like, mm, it's like an ivory stone type color. I'll try to insert a photo. Let me know if you guys think that would look good in here. I was just thinking like, I don't really want to add much more like shades of wood and brown because we already have the little reading nook corner over here. And then we already have our orangey wood TV stand, which kind of is like the only wood I feel like I really need in this room. 
other than like the floors and I'm planning on keeping this. We're just, we need to like redecorate it. But I feel like this table is too much with it and it just doesn't look good with the rug. That will probably be like one of the next things we get. But once again, we're not rushing. We're very mindful. We're very demure. We're being very mindful of our budget. We're not going crazy. We don't do too much. And I'm just showing you guys everything right now, but I also repotted my giant fiddly fig. It was in a kind of like this clay colored pot but it had started like chipping and it was like the pot just was not doing well um so i bought this white pot for it that's a little bit wider and we repotted it in here the other day it looks so sleek and gorgeous i'm having a little bit of a pumpkin spice chai cold brew and jared has started unpacking the day bed in here a little crammed in this room right now, but that's okay. This is the pieces. It came all in a million pieces. So I'm going to try and help him set this up and we will show you guys when it's getting put together. I don't think I'm going to do like a fast forwarded montage because I have a feeling it's going to be kind of, it's going to take us, take us a little bit. Okay. First part of the trundle bed is put together. This is like the pop-up trundle thing, but that will actually just go slide right under so yeah it looks a little big from this angle but there will still be like a good amount of room you see things are just crowded in here right now and we're not gonna probably keep that plant back there so we can just have a lot of space on that back wall but jared just put all of this together each slot pretty much had to go in like completely individually so now we're gonna put on the mattress and i'm gonna start making up these beds and we're gonna put together the trundle part, which will slide under it. It was said they were like foam mattress, foam mattresses or something. Oh yeah! Look at that! Wow, it's decently that. comfortable. I think we got yeah. a two pack of these twin mattresses for 230 bucks, right around there. It's not bad for two brand new mattresses that we didn't know we would be getting. Yeah, it's not bad. Maybe we'll put mattress toppers, like maybe on this one at least, at some point. That probably would not be expensive at all. Probably be like 10 bucks, but not today. I'm glad the bed color isn't like offensive with the color of the floors, because that's something I was... <laughs> Why does he always do this? He loves a dog that does this. Squirtle, you're not gonna be able to do that much longer because the trundle is going under there. It's like a dachshund thing or like certain dogs they like to be like un like burrow and be under. If you have weenies you probably know. I was saying that I'm glad this wood color isn't like offensive with the floors because it's all kind of it all really like you know just that like orangey wood that we kind of had going on in the living room was just like really bad with the floors so I definitely picked this um with that in mind they did have more of a cherry wood they had a white and then i think they maybe even had like a gray like a driftwood gray so i will link this down below even though we haven't fed it up all the way yet i'm gonna link it down below for you guys <laughs> that we sleep on and then we had at least two for the guest room that were matching and now we have one single pillow remaining that's not being used in our room so I have no idea what happened we looked around the whole house and I don't know what happened so I do want to get another pillow so that I can do like okay so these were the pillows that came with our couch I feel like they could look nice in here we're gonna try it because we have them and I I don't know what else to do with them. So there's a couple things I could do. I could either do like, when I get the other pillow, I could do one there, one there, which would probably be good because 
you know, this is going to kind of function as like a day bed couch. So you want to have like that comfort, like lots of pillows along the back. So yeah, until then, you know, maybe it goes, I don't know which way you would sleep in here, but until then maybe it goes like that. That doesn't look too bad. It's a little plain right now, but I have my cow pillows too. I have, you know, I have that pillow in our bedroom that we're not using. And it's very neutral. You, you, you need like a throw. You can put a throw blanket on here, but okay. Yeah, this, this isn't horribly offensive. I actually currently have this listed on Facebook Marketplace, but until someone buys it, <laughs> we're going to use it. So my vision was basically, let me, let me give you my vision. The two along the back. See your vision a little more. And then it would be like these in front, maybe. I don't even know how you make a twin bed. <laughs> and maybe something like this. No, that actually doesn't look good. <laughs> what happened? It, lo it looks bad. All right, we're shopping. This is temporary, guys. Okay, we need some sort of like. Throw blank. We need some color in here. Obviously, it's very beige. Like a pretty art piece or two or three art pieces or something. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Does this look better or the way I had it before with the... Well, I'll let you know what we land on. We have to put the trundle under too. So, I wanted to show you guys how this room turned out for now. So, we have the rug that was already in here and we pulled it out a little bit. Um, I will link this down below. I think it looks really nice, especially pulled out. It looks just so much better and it fits the room really well. Then we have the day bed, which you guys saw us put together. And I feel like it'll mostly stay like this so that you can actually like do stuff in the room. But if we have like a movie night in here or something, we definitely pull it up and just like put a bunch of pillows along the back and get comfy and kind of treat it like a big couch. And then obviously like when we have guests, they can just kind of decide what they want to do. Our dog sitter, one of my friends is going to be staying with the boys in actually about a week. So we really wanted to get this whole room set up for her before that. And I'm very happy to say that that worked out. I don't think we'll put anything over on this side because obviously you need to be able to like get into the closet. So we wanted to keep the bed, you know, at a point where you could still comfortably do that. And it's pretty centered in the wall i think for now i went ahead and put the plant stand over here and i popped some plants that i just didn't know where to put on it for now but i feel like this will end up turning into like some sort of a side table where you can put like a drink or something i don't really know but maybe i will keep this here it's like a little crammed but i also feel like it kind of works and it's kind of cute to have the little lamp i mean sorry that's another thing we could put over there. We could do like a floor lamp. I think that could actually be really nice. And then like a tiny skinny little table. Maybe just like right here to put like a drink if you're sitting here. Because I feel like that will be something we want to have. Like some sort of a little tiny side table for just like sitting and chilling here. I think I told you guys we're going to be selling this. And Jared got a longer, it's um, like three shelves, bookshelf. I feel like I already told you that. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Little plant over there for now. I think that looks super cute. I love that plant, my ZZ plant. And then just temporarily until we get that bookshelf because we won't have it set up until we get back from our trip in a couple weeks. So this was already in here. And I decorated it a little bit and I think it looks so much better. I kind of had fun making this a little, a little like Western themed a bit. Just got a throw blanket that I put in a basket down here. And then I just kind of accessorized with some cute western art and things like that and then i got some flowers the other day and i put like tiny bouquets in different rooms and i just think that looks really cute for now so hopefully some of this stuff i'll be able to like put on the um bookshelf and maybe we'll even end up hanging this picture in here i don't quite know yet but i just put that stuff there temporarily to like have something in here and we are going to mount, a t Jared's gonna mount a TV in here above the bookshelf and that bookshelf will function kind of as like a large media stand, but obviously it'll like mostly hold his books because he's already filled out this entire shelf and they don't sell these in this color anymore. Jared just got that other one that I will 
show you guys when it gets here. Good morning, guys. I am just filming on my phone right now because classic me, I'm in the car and I wanted to talk to you and I don't have my camera, but that's okay. But it's Sunday now, it's the next day. And I headed out to see if I could find some birthday presents. So my parents' birthdays are both coming up. My dad is turning 60 next week and my mom's birthday is the week after. Me, my mom, and my dad are all Virgos. So if that gives you any insight to my childhood and like my, my parents, like they just get me. Um, I don't feel like my dad is like that much of a Virgo, honestly, but my mom and I really bond on that. I am out seeing if I can get them some presents before our family trip because that's probably just when I'll end up giving them their presents. It's going to be like a week later, but we're going to celebrate like both of their birthdays um, on the trip. So yeah, my for my mom, I'm stopping by this store. You can't, you can't tell. It's a local like home store called bungalow my mom has really been into like decor and just like renovation stuff lately so i wanted to see if i can find something smaller here that i could fit in my suitcase and if not i was thinking i would stop by the antique mall that we have here because my mom loves antiques so i think between these two places i will be able to find something for her and then my dad i personally find it so difficult to shop for my dad because he doesn't really like opening presents and it's not even necessarily about the gift like he always just says like i don't need gifts i don't need gifts but obviously it's his 60th birthday and like i want to find something for him but i always struggle getting him like christmas gifts and yeah father's day gifts this year for father's day i ended up just treating him to a dinner and i paid for that and i feel like he really appreciated that so yeah, I'm gonna go to Shields after this, which we just got that store a few months ago and they have so much outdoor stuff and also just like men's stuff. Let's go check out this bungalow store. I'm hoping I won't get too carried away because uh, you all know I love some home, some home stuff, but I do feel a little like I have a good amount of that right now, but maybe just take some inspiration while we're here. So let's go check out these couple stores. They have a new location. Um, that I've never been to and it's really big, so I am excited to see it. Okay, this place is massive. So much cute stuff too. I'm definitely taking some inspiration. Every, all the furniture in here is like super expensive. So I'm definitely looking for like smaller things, but I am taking some inspiration while I'm here because I do want to get a new dining table and some chairs for our um, dining room soon. So I'm kind of looking around and seeing what style I like. This is so cute. For my mom, I feel like something like that. Oh my gosh, that's really heavy. That's so, that is so cute. I think she already has something like this, but looking for stuff like that. Tuesday. I didn't really end up finishing the vlog on Sunday because I was in a rush to get back home. We ended up going to the fair with um, Jared's sister and that was really fun. I don't know. I feel like I've been very chaotically filming the vlogs. Like I, I don't know. I just haven't been like finishing off a whole day or whatever, but I feel like it doesn't really matter that much as long as it you know comes together in the end i did not end up having that much luck with my birthday present shopping on sunday so i'm headed back out today <laughs> to try again because i knew i was going to go to shields for my dad and i actually didn't have time to go on sunday i spent way too much time at the antique store and i spent like an hour browsing at that furniture store decor store and I only ended up getting one tiny thing. So I got my mom one small thing from there and one small thing from the antique mall. I really like the antique mall. They have so much good stuff, but it's hard to, um, I don't know if that was the best place to go for a gift because I feel like that's one of those things that you almost want to like pick out for yourself. I saw so much stuff that kind of like reminded me of my mom, but it just wasn't like, I just feel like I, I was gravitating towards like, oh, I'm gonna know when I see that like one or two things. And I just did not have that feeling. Hopefully today we'll have better luck. I'm gonna 
head out and um, go to a couple more stores today and I'm gonna take my glass recycling. I dropped mine off at one of our grocery stores here that has a big glass recycling bin in the parking lot and I try to do that every like few months. I probably, yeah, go a couple times a year. I need to send out a order for Facebook Marketplace. There's a fly that got in here and it's really pissing me off because it's just like buzzing by my ear. Not looking the cutest today. I have on a hat because I'm literally rocking hair from Saturday. Yeah, and that's very long for me. I do need to wash my hair, but I'm hoping to spend a couple hours at the pool later today, which I will be slathered up in sunscreen because it's gonna be 90 something. So I figured there is no point in me showering, putting on a bunch of sunscreen, and then I'm just gonna be covered in sunscreen, and I hate that feeling of having it all over me, so I refuse to take my shower today until I'm done wearing sunscreen. And the new couch is absolutely looking glorious. Um, everything's kind of like the same color back there right now. This is not going to be the throw blanket that we'll actually use because obviously it's, just, it's not like adding much. Everything's like very light. I want to get like a darker one for fall, some sort of like a warm brown or even like an orangey one. I think could be really pretty to have a little fall moment in here, even like a pale green, uh, like a muted green, I feel like could be really pretty, like a neutrally green. These are just the ones we're using right now to like protect it from the dogs, but I've been loving it so much. It's so cushy and comfy, so we've really been trying out the couch the past um, few days, as well as the day bed. I just went in red in the second bedroom on the day bed, and it was so nice and peaceful. It gets really good light in there, which I hadn't really, gotten to experience because we haven't had like any furniture to like sit in there since we moved in. So I'm glad that there's somewhere to like lay and sit in there now. So yesterday on my way home from work, I had such a long day. We literally worked nine and a half hours, which is probably the longest day I've ever had at Tidy Style. It was a very long job. There was eight kids there the entire day. I was driving home from work and I was five minutes away from home starving and I was on like a two lane road, one lane this way, one lane this way, and a truck passes me and I just hear like a loud, like basically something shot my windshield when I passed the truck. And I just went, <gasps> like it just took me, I didn't know what was going on. I just know I passed a truck and something happened to my windshield. So it looks like this. It looks like marker actually, but it's a huge, huge crack in my windshield. The biggest one I've ever gotten. So something hit like right here. It wasn't like a work truck. It was just like a normal pickup truck. And y'all wonder why I hate pickup trucks like with a burning passion. This is the reason. So that happened like 16 hours ago. And then I kid you not, I can't make this up. Five minutes ago, I was merging onto the freeway and a truck comes in the last lane right in front of me and immediately I get another rock chip in my windshield. So two in less than 16 hours. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to my windshield. I haven't filed my, insur my car insurance thing yet, but I think I'm just about to sit in the car and do it since that other one just happened but I am just hoping and praying that my car insurance will cover this because it was just, it happened so fast. Something hit in the middle, and but then the way it shattered is like two inches wide. And it doesn't look like a normal one. Like this is a, you know, a normal one that you get when a rock hits your windshield. I've had such bad luck with my car this summer and even just, like this wasn't my car's fault. So I don't want to say that. Like I had to get something fixed with my car like a month ago and I had to stay in the shop for like a week. And that was kind of just strange, but now this, literally two in what, two days, like I don't know what is going on. I'm not the type of person to necessarily believe in like bad luck or something, but it just seems a little bit strange. That, Like especially the one I got yesterday was just so random. I was like, I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And now this one, like I really just hope I don't have to pay anything for that because obviously neither one of these was my fault at all. I was just behind passing by trucks. I hate pickup trucks with a burning passion. Like there, that is the only car that ever just does the dumbest, craziest shit on the roads. And it just makes me like so infuriated. Anyway, I'm just in a mood right now. Cause like yesterday was just the longest day. And then to just have that happen again, I was just like, 
I'm gonna go into Shields, but I think first I need to log on to my car insurance and file two different claims for this and just hope that they'll pay for it to get fixed. Okay, we're at Shields. I parked like really far away by accident in this like other parking lot. So I'm walking up, I'm getting my steps in, but the store is massive. But they have so much like outdoor stuff and also like men's stuff. I might look at the kites for my dad, see what the selection is looking like. He loves a kite and I'm going to see him in Maine soon and that could be like a really good gift, I feel like. And it's probably flat so he could travel with it home. I feel like Jared would like some of these hats a lot, but not Chris Hughes. But they have some good hats, I definitely will come back and look here for jared for christmas there's the ferris wheel guys i'm embarrassed to say i left shields empty-handed i just i don't know if i'm being super picky or it's just like you just know when you see something when you're shopping for a gift for someone you just know you're like this makes me think of them i know that they'll like this but i just have not had that feeling and i'm usually not the type of person to like go to multiple places for gifts and like overthink it i'm i'm really not but I, it's just something about my dad's 60th it feels really big and i do think i have some sort of an idea though i asked the salespeople in there um if they had kites uh and they only had two left and they said they're not going to even be like carrying kites anymore he showed me them and they were okay but there was no way it would fit in my suitcase it was like really really long and i just didn't think my dad would like it, it was it was like a hot air balloon looking kite but it did make me think make me think like i do think that would be a really fun gift he could use it on the trip we could do it together and he could easily like hopefully if it's portable enough which a lot of them are he can pack it up or i can take it back because i'm going um to georgia with my parents like i'm leaving with them so someone can take it in their suitcase back home i do want to go with that idea might not be the only thing I, I get him like I said I have like another week to figure out some like little things that I could add into his gift but I feel good about it so I looked up some places around here that you can get kites and they have some at REI and then there's another store if I end up not finding something at REI but I think they have a really good looking one and it looks pretty portable so I'm gonna go check that out I feel like he hasn't done like taken his kite out in a super long time he used to do it like on the beach with us when we would go on our family vacations when we were like kids and teenagers and he would always take his kite out and we would do it together sometimes and I just feel like this would make him happy so I I like this idea I still have so many more errands to run it's already 2 30 and I'm like I'm probably not gonna get home till like 5 now nothing else was speaking like I looked at some clothing that kind of reminded me of my dad but I have to remind myself like what my dad actually likes and I've gotten him a lot of clothing over the years and he appreciates it but he's just not like a clothing guy like he doesn't buy clothes for himself he doesn't he doesn't care about that so like why would I get him another piece of clothing that's what I do for Christmas a lot I'll get him like a life is good shirt or like a vest or like something from Columbia but I'm like I've just done that so many times I don't want to do that again and it just feels like it needs to be something with a little more like heart in it we're keeping keeping trying I'm having I'm gonna have a little snack I've had Ritz Bits as my emergency car snack for the last like three months and I'm down to my last like two packs so comment down below it should be my next car snack I like to buy something that has like the individual packs because I can just reach behind and grab one when I'm hungry in traffic or coming home from work or whatever it is so obviously this wasn't the most healthy but let me know what should be my next car snack guys I finally had success they had like five or six different kites at REI. I don't know if anyone's looking for a kite. It's definitely a pretty niche and they're always in the weirdest sections of the store. Like both times I had to ask people cause I had no idea where the heck it would be and I was searching around. But this time I asked right when I walked in and it was actually right by the checkout, which I thought was so strange that they would be like literally right before you checked out with all the like tiny, this huge birthday bag exactly. with all the like tiny things. But this is what it looks like when it's in the sky up there. And then it's in a little portable bag. Hopefully it's not, oh my gosh, I just thought about this and I was like, <laughs> hopefully it's not too hard to get it back into this bag after we use it. But this looked like their nicest one that they sold. I've literally been out for like three hours and all I got was 
tight and I did get a few things at Trader Joe's I'll show you guys when we get home because I was just in and out of there really quick but at least we had success okay I am finally home I have no idea how but I was out for like four hours <laughs> so that happened um, I just got a few things at Trader Joe's I left a couple things in the garage but Jared is trying to uh, get off Dr. Pepper or like cut back. So instead, I have been buying him these. They're the Trader Joe's Sparkling Black Cherry Vanilla Sparkling Waters. And they're supposed to have like a Dr. Pepper vibe and he says he really likes them. So I got like three packs of those. And then the main reason I wanted to go because I actually was just at Trader Joe's the other day, but I wanted to get my parents each a thing of dark chocolate peanut butter cups that I can just easily put in my suitcase. They are pretty big. <laughs> so yeah, I got one for each of them to add to their presents just because both my parents love dark chocolate and love peanut butter cups and I feel like it's just a little something extra to add, like just a little treat. And then I got another pack for me and Jared because these have been like my obsession lately. So I bought three of those. I bought three of the black cherry vanilla sparkling waters, which are in the garage because that's where we keep our like back stock of um, drinks and then I'll like load stuff in the pantry and then from the pantry I'll load stuff into the fridge. Like if that makes sense, because we actually have a really like small fridge since we moved in here. This fridge is, it's really skinny and really narrow and it's hard to actually fit a lot of stuff in there so we've had to be very limited with what we buy and like how much leftovers we have and all that anyway other than that i really need to get this in the fridge because it's like warm at this point this is the everyday butter lettuce salad kit from trader joe's i've been loving my salad kits and i haven't like bought one in a while the kite you guys saw everything's just in the same bag and then i got some chicken breast so that was that. I went and did my glass recycling. I was mostly at Shields for a while and then I was sitting in my car for a while doing the um, auto claim for the windshield. So it said that as long as like the shop can fix it, that it will be covered by my insurance, which I was kind of expecting anyway, but it's already like almost five o'clock and Jared and I are gonna go sit by the pool for a couple hours. It's like the warmest time of day. Here is from like four until six. So it's like 92 or 93, it's quite warm today. So we've been trying to like get in some more pool days before we, we can't really go anymore. You know, like honestly in like a month, it's probably not gonna be quite warm enough to go to the pool. So we're trying to get in those last few pool days before I like go out of town for almost two weeks as well. And then when I, when I come back, it's gonna be like basically fall. So I don't know if I'll be going to the pool when we come back, so we wanna go. We're just gonna bring our books. The Dr. Pepper Donut. <laughs> Hi you guys, it is Wednesday now, and today I'm getting a furniture piece delivered that I'm very excited about. So let me show you where that is gonna go. Today we are getting delivered something to go on this super plain wall that has just been plain since we moved in, and I'm so excited to get this decorated so this stuff is not gonna stay how it is. But I am gonna be putting the record player and the records and the speaker, so all that stuff that's just hanging out on the, on the floor right there, hanging out low right there, that is all gonna go on the open bookshelf that I'm getting. I was originally gonna do like a hutch or something, but I really wanted to have the shelving work for my records, which are like a certain measurement, you know what I mean? I really wanted the records to be able to like sit nicely on a shelf, it didn't matter if they were like tucked away or open, but I couldn't really find a hutch that I loved and that would kind of like work better than just an open bookshelf. So I got a long, it's like 70 inches wide, a long open bookshelf that is going to be coming in like an hour and they're actually gonna put it together. 
because it came with free white glove delivery, which means that they assemble it. And I'm so excited for that. So I've been tracking that. The guy is getting here, like I said, right about an hour. So as soon as he's done setting it up, I will show it to you guys. And hopefully I can get this stuff set up today and start decorating it. But I think it's going to look so gorgeous. I'm planning on putting that somewhere in the middle here and potentially doing a, um, a long floor length mirror somewhere because unfortunately there's like no other place in the house that we can put a floor length mirror and I have one just sitting in the garage and I would love to be able to use it. So I don't know how it's gonna end up looking here but there's, like I said, nowhere else to put one in the house and I really like being able to do outfit photos and just see my full outfit so We'll see about that. And so while I'm waiting for that guy to show up and it's, oh, it's so nice that he's gonna set it up. I'm really excited about that. While I'm waiting for that, I'm just gonna do some editing on this vlog so far and see how much footage I have. Today is going to be mostly just an at-home day. Get things done. I do need to catch up on some editing and just some things on my computer in general. So we're sitting down doing that right now. I'm doing some laundry. I'm gonna actually call my dad right now because it's his birthday. So I'm gonna do that and then just do some editing and I will show you guys when that furniture piece is all set up. I'm so excited. There's so many things and, and literally in the last week, so many things like happened with the house and like came in and it just feels, oh, it's like, oh my gosh, finally. <laughs> like it really, it feels good. Okay, special delivery has been delivered and put together. Here she is. It is Gorge. It's actually bigger in person than I thought it was gonna be in terms of like the depth. Is this the depth or the width? I don't know. Whatever way it is from this way to this way is like bigger than I thought it was gonna be. But I do feel like it fits this wall so nicely and I just put it like centered in the wall right now but I feel like I might move that. Like I actually think it might look a little better like pulled down a little bit here and then potentially trying that mirror over here in the corner. So I want to get in here and mess with it. I've been doing some editing but I just came to a stopping point because I'm just like so excited to kind of start setting this shelf up. I got this from All Modern. I will link it down below. It is an expensive piece. I typically do not buy furniture that is this expensive, but it just was exactly what I wanted. It's really big. You can tell there's like two open shelves on the top and then on the bottom, it has like a piece of wood and you can actually like switch that out. You can decide like which two you want or I guess you could just have it all open shelving, but I thought this could be really nice for like holding the actual records and it kind of functions as like a bookshelf and then these ones would be more like stylized or like I could use for like glasses or like actually kind of use it as like a sideboard buffet type thing for like pretty plates or you know what I mean? I feel like we can really get kind of creative with this which will be really fun. So I'm not planning on decorating it all today. I really actually don't have that much time to dedicate to this. Today, Jared and I are going out in a couple hours to do something together, but I can work on this over the next few days. But I do want to at least like get the records in there. I want to get my record player set up on top of here and work on disguising those cords and everything. But yeah, this piece is super gorgeous. I love the way the corners are like actually rounded. I feel like I couldn't really even actually tell that from the photos and it's really, it just really adds something to it. I think I'm gonna just put you guys on the tripod and move that mirror in here, see how I like that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that, but let's try it and get the record set up on here and just set it up a little bit. So currently I'm not obsessed with the mirror in here. I think it looks a little strange. It just like doesn't feel like it works and maybe that's because everything's empty right now, but I definitely think it looked better with this more in the middle. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, 
there's things I could do to try and make it work but it's just so backlit here too because like obviously I'm getting all the light from back here so it's not the best spot to film at it's a little looks a little better now but I'm not really sure I want to uh invest any more money in mirrors <laughs> for this house we still have another mirror in the garage it's not a full length mirror but it could always hang above this and maybe that's just what I'm gonna have to like do at this house like not like accepts that we can't fit a full length mirror at least at this time maybe a place will show up for it but at this time I feel like it does not look right in here skinnier mirror would obviously like work better here but I just don't know at this point if I want to uh buy another mirror like I said we have multiple mirrors already in this house of different sizes so I think I'm going to take this back out to the garage and just work on just this for now. before the move. But Casey Musgraves, Starcrossed. I haven't played this album in so long that I forgot it was like this cool blue and red color. So clearly it's been too long. We've got sound, folks. <laughs> Not folks. That officially works. I knew it would. Well, I was hoping it would. I'm very happy. Everything's plugged in all back there. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but I like hid the cords because these are still open shelves. So I didn't want them to just be hanging. So I used this vinyl electrical tape that I had and I haven't used this in forever. And I basically just like snaked the cords all together and then taped the tiny little back piece that looks like this in the back. So it's disguised, but it's going down straight. And then there's a plug back there so you can only see the record player and then i put the speakers down here because i didn't think they were very cute these at some point these might need to be upgraded i've had them since 2015 when i got my first record player and now i think i've had like three or i might have had four record players three or four but anyway um this looks fabulous so now i'm going to set up my records i think i want to put them down here did make an unintentional measuring mistake and I am so like it's just the tiniest little amount but basically all the shelves have like a bar that comes down so that's the shelf and then it has a bar so you basically get like two inches less height so even though look at this this should fit here it doesn't because look at this look how much room it is it is probably an eighth of an inch so then i tried i obviously wanted my records to be stored like this and then i tried to do it like this and have them like leaning against the side down here and they it only took like 10 stacked up and it just couldn't hold the weight i tried to put like a bookend thing over here the records were just too heavy so for now i just stacked them this way with their like edges out but i don't think you're supposed to store records this way so now i'm trying to think of other ideas okay mm, like something like that could work like doing them in stacks like that 
up until this point. So maybe I'll try, maybe I'll try that next. I know I'll figure it out, but it definitely was a little bit frustrating because I could not see in the um, pictures at all that this came down, that there was like an invisible bar there. And it's literally like so close to fitting the records perfectly, which I thought it would, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. This kind of works a little bit because it can like lean on that back part. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm sure I can find something in some way to store them on here, but <laughs> it was definitely a hiccup that I encountered that I just wanted to share. Everything's not always perfect, even if you measure, and that was definitely, definitely frustrating because that like a big part of getting these was to obviously like hold the records in the record player in a cool way to display them, but feel like we can work around this. So I'm, I'm gonna put a little more time into it today and then I might just uh, give up for the day and try to figure this out later, but we will style this together at some point, but it's probably not gonna be in this vlog, you guys, because I'm gonna end this vlog so I can get it up for you tomorrow. But I will show you, hopefully this will be like styled and everything by the next vlog and I can show you guys. Okay guys, it's a few hours later now and I'm just finishing up editing this vlog. So I know it wasn't super long and we didn't do any like cooking or any of that stuff in this vlog. I feel like I really need to get back in the routine of like showing you guys like what I'm cooking and just like coffees and stuff like that. I, I, I don't know I, why I have not like shown any of that in the last few vlogs, but I hope you enjoyed. That yeah, wasn't the longest vlog, but like I said, I really want to get this up for you guys so I can have my four videos up for the month of August. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you for hanging out with me. I would love to chat with you guys down below in the comments. I love hearing from you and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye guys. Every time we talk, I got